Hello everyone, and welcome back to the bat server. So this is the jungle that I found for our newest base, and I know I said I was going to build a castle here, and that might still happen, but I have, I have another idea. So first off, let me say, oh, sun is setting too. Uh, first off, let me say that if you are new here, uh, I put out a video about a instant health potion farm using witches, and I got a lot of subscribers from that, so thank you if you did subscribe, and I hope that you watch my Let's Plays every now and then, because I really like them, and they're so much fun to do. So, my plan for this new area now is possibly going to be inspired by a book that I really liked as a kid, which is The Swiss Family Robinson and it's sort of a island survival type book, a lot like Treasure Island and uh, what was the other one? Robinson Crusoe is another big one. And basically, in the Swiss Family Robinson, there's this family who gets shipwrecked uh, on an island, and they have to survive and you know figure out all the stuff about the island and how to live. And by the end, they have sort of almost conquered the island and you know gotten really well set up on the island. So. I'm sort of going to mimic that a little bit here. I think I'm going to almost uh, play along with like a storyline, which will be some people getting shipwrecked. I think that to start off with only one sort of lifeboat, like a ship is going to get uh, sunk down there, and you know different lifeboats come to shore. And I think that only one lifeboat is going to land here to start. And I'll sort of, you know, build up like this this tree here. I uh, made vines all the way up. I think if I landed on a deserted island, <laughs> I would probably try to, you know, climb a tree or something. Find out my bearings and whatnot. And then I think the next thing I'm going to build is a little house there. So maybe once night falls, they all say, well, it might be safer f uh, to get away from the monsters if we move to that island and, you know, build a little shelter. But... I'm not going to start on this project this episode. I think I'm going to maybe do a little off camera for next episode or maybe start it next episode. This episode I really want to make another track here and I'm going to use ice and trap door as the trick where you can go ridiculously fast and possibly set up some potion systems so that it'll automatically give me speed 2 or something. Although I might have to make it a drinkable one because it lasts a lot longer that way. But for that, I need an ice farm of some sorts. And as far as I know, there's not a big one on this server. Uh, in case you are new, this is uh, a survival server. And as you can see from my health, health regen is turned off. There's a death counter, which is my seven deaths. And right now there's no one else on. It's just me, so... Anyway, I think I'm going to possibly make an ice farm back at my swamp base, and that'll also give me a chance to show you uh, my swamp base in case you haven't seen it yet. And we're also going to haul some more materials over here. This is what I've brought so far, just some basic stuff. I still have a lot more to bring over before we can start building. And yeah, the other only other thing is that my computer's been acting funny today and keeps crashing Minecraft, so... If that ever happens, I'll just keep recording, but just so you know, for whatever reason, it's been acting weird today. So, oh, by the way, I'm not going to build anything automated, farm-related, probably around here. It's probably going to be my witch farm base or swamp base will be all the automated farms, and then this will just be purely for building. I think that most people who play Minecraft, or who have played Minecraft for a long time, sort of fall into one of three categories, which is either technical, they like doing technical stuff, you know, automated farms and stuff, building, or some people like, you know, adventure maps and caving, stuff like that. And some people sort of do a combination of both. And I really like the technical side, like my entire swamp base is basically all uh, just technical, you know, 
building different farms and stuff, automating. And then I think I'm going to try to get into some more building with this jungle base. And I'm probably not going to be very good, but hopefully I'll get better as I go. And I don't know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun doing the sort of newish something for me, at least building. Anyway, I'm going to go to my swamp base and possibly start the ice tray. Alright, so just a quick stop at spawn here. By the way, uh, just on my way back, Fox, Caleb, and MH all joined. And look at... Gotta be kidding me. Did they spawn on the top? I think they spawn on the top of those stairs. Because they're upside down. Jerks, now I've got to light up my roof. Oh, no, 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 no. Whew, okay. Let's get inside. Uh, so down here, something happened. We actually didn't make a sale, but... <laughs> uh, I saw this the other day. Can I buy the shop? Your bail. And look at that, it's... Let's see, how much is that? Uh, 100,000 million billion... That's a 1 trillion crafts. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. So... This actually brings up a point, which I forgot to mention, which is, uh, yeah, theoretically, if someone wanted to, they could just rename paper into crafts, but obviously with any of the shops in spawn, someone could just take stuff if they wanted. And then these signs, as your partner in crime, or business associate, I highly recommend not accepting this offer from Gerb. Fox is done. Yeah, I mean, it's a tempting offer. One trillion crafts. That's a lot of diamonds, but... I don't know where I would exchange them is the thing. Because currently, I'm the only one who has a craft exchange, so... For right now, I think I'll have to refuse his offer, but... I guess... I mean, he left us this one trillion crafts, so... Let's just take it. I'm keeping it. One trillion crafts. We're rich! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back to the swamp base now. Alright, so... Here we are at the swamp base. I gathered some materials for the ice tray. I'm not sure how much I'm going to automate it, though. Oh, I think it might be smarter just to make it like a j big ice tray, just giant, instead of making it super automated, because I'm going to need a ton of ice. The swamp, or sorry, the jungle is about, I think, 700 plus 200, maybe like 900 blocks away. Probably almost a 1,000, actually. Uh, in the nether, that is. So it's going to take a 1,000 blocks of ice at least. Oh, come on, get up here. Um, There we go. Now, one thing I don't know about this is whether you can just build up high and it will work. Like, will ice freeze up high? Or does it have to have spawned, like, does a mountain have to have spawned up here for it to work? I think just being up high should work. And do we want to do it here? Probably not. Well, we were just talking, I don't know what they're saying in chat, but I was just we were just talking about uh, the show Sherlock, and they've seen the latest episodes, but I can't because I have to wait till it comes out on stupid Hulu. Ugh. So now I'm like two episodes behind and I'm dying to know what happened. Anyway. Let's see. Maybe... Yeah, I'd say this is as good a mountain as any. Alright. This might look sort of weird. So I might actually, at some point, like, tear it down and make one that actually looks nice. Hmm. But for now, I'm just going to go for maximum efficiency. So I'm just going to build a really big one. But first of all, let's test this water thing. So... Let's see, just build a big, just build it all out of stone brick, I guess. And we'll build out here a little bit. See, so make sure we're far enough. Well, hmm. We might not actually have to test it. But I suppose I'm kind of curious anyway. This might be a big enough area, but I want to see uh, how it works. So I'm just going to build a giant square of stone brick. And then I'm going to... Oh. You can probably hear that. Hold on. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to be right back. Aha! So, even without having to test the ice, 
just by the fact that it's snowing all around here, even on the parts where there wasn't mountain, like right along there, I'm guessing that it's going to be fine. And did you ever notice that if you look up, I never realized this, but if you look up, wherever you're looking, that block gets no snow. Or at least your game doesn't render it getting snow. That's interesting. I wonder if you stand over a block if it ever gets covered in snow. Hmm. I'll have to test that sometime. Alright. Well, I'm. let's see. We're going to flood this now. Just every other one. I was making some dispensers, actually. I have 21. But I don't think it's actually going to be enough for the whole thing. So I'm just going to do this by hand for now. And then... Oh, dang it. Placed it wrong. And then we can see for sure whether or not the ice will freeze. And I'll probably... Well, actually, I've always wanted to see ice freeze uh, in a time lapse. So I think I might do that. See what that looks like. And I know that ice only freezes from the outside or when there's a block next to it. Oh, look, we've already got... Is that an ice block? Wait a minute. What the heck? Magic block of water. What the heck? <laughs> How is this possible? There's no water here. Huh. I wonder how I managed to do that. It's very interesting. Alright. Pick that up. Now I'm about to go test that in a creative world. Anyway, I know that blocks only freeze from... Ah, oh, this is going to mess everything up, isn't it? Wow, did this whole... Will really freeze. Well, we're just gonna break it like this. I don't have my silk touch on me. Oh nope! Don't fall off the edge. Dang it! Stop freezing ice. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I know ice only freezes from the outsides or when it's next to a block. So I'm just gonna place a couple random blocks. Well, yeah, I think I will. It'll speed up enough. I was gonna say the time map. Time lapse might look cooler if it was just all from the outside, but eh, I think I'll just play some blocks and make it go faster. All right, so I'm just gonna scatter some around here, and then let's pillar up. Boy, this is weird. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Screenshot, perfect. <laughs> and then let's maybe just pillar up right around the center. Well. No, that's actually not true. I lied. <laughs> we don't want to pull up right next to the center, because then we'll be looking down at the block. Let's pull up, like, right here. And then, before it all becomes ice. And... F1, Q, time-lapse. Alright, so I just filled in the blocks that weren't uh, freezing. And, ah, so awesome. This is the first time I've harvested a bunch of ice, for the most part. I guess I did have to harvest some for my first nether track that leads here. But yeah, I'm just going to break all this ice and, well, actually, I guess we need to come up with a design for the nether track. Let's see, how much is this? Yeah, this is going to get us quite a few stacks. I guess I'll have to do it a few times, though, in order to get uh, 
enough for the entire track. And which way is back to my base? No. Oh, this way. Here it is. Alright, so go this way. I'm thinking that I want to make it something to do with the jungle, obviously. Maybe some leaves and stuff in there. Grass always looks really bad in the nether, in my opinion, because it's brown. And so do some leaves, but like spruce leaves, for instance, don't look too bad, so possible that we could do that. Come on, world. And load in. <laughs> so let's see. Maybe a mix of stone bricks and some leaves and possibly some grass. And of course the ice. So if we get, let's see, trap doors. Hmm. Maybe the ceiling. See, the problem with leaves is that you have to, like, cover up behind them or else you can see through them. So it'll probably be something like ice, stone brick. Oop, darn it. Ice, stone brick, uh, trap doors along the side, like so. And then. Oh, I really like the way jungle leaves look, but in the nether they might look sort of strange. So it might even be like that. And then off to the side here, possibly a grass path. Like a double one. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure on that. Aha. Which farm is working well? Oh, anyway, <laughs> getting distracted. So I'm going to do all that for next episode. I probably won't be able to complete this, but I'll get a good start on it. Maybe just finish the ice and the trapdoor part so that we can at least uh, get back and forth really quickly. And then that means we can start on the actual uh, on the actual jungle build next episode. I'm really excited about that. I can't wait. And the only other thing I wanted to mention was my Starbound series which might sort of be scattered around a little bit. The thing is, I was originally thinking like, oh, I could do it every other day with bats, but then it gets confusing because I want to upload like some PvP videos and some tutorials, obviously. So it's sort of just going to be whenever there's a free spot in a day. And now that school's starting, it might be, or restarting, you know, after winter break, it might be uh, a little less than every day that I get out a video. But I do have another tutorial for the witches. I got a fire resist one and a water breathing one. You can actually make them drop those potions. And there's also speed, which I haven't gotten worked out yet, but I'm hoping to get them all worked out and then do one big tutorial for all of those. So anyway, that's just a little quick channel update. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time.